Yeah, I find um, the Rex legs are really easy to use uh, in a sense. Um, it took us about three days to sort of get myself fitted properly and, and, up, and up walking around. So, I mean, from someone that hasn't walked for five years, I, I would have expected to have taken longer, but it didn't. So, uh, and then once you know the, the functionality and the movement of the actual legs, it becomes extremely easy, yeah. Generally when I uh, go to jump on the ricks, I'll wheel my wheelchair so it's at a 90 degree angle with the machine. Um, and then I just make sure that all the straps are clear, that I'm not going to go sitting on any buckles, so then obviously it makes it a little bit difficult if you're sitting on a buckle to do it up. Um, Self-transfer by holding onto the legs of ricks and just lift myself across to get my, my own legs sitting in the cuffs. Um, and then from there, it's sort of five minutes all up um, to get yourself strapped up and ready to go. Um, so not long at all, yeah. Once you understand like the movement, I think, of the machine, like understanding like what action is happening in that step first, okay, so you're going to lean to the left before that leg looks, lifts off. Once you're used to all that sort of stuff and, and realise what's, what's actually happening, it's really easy to get used to it. The experience of getting back onto two legs and then, you know, or two feet, just so to speak, and, you know, walking around, it's, it's been a, a real big experience and since um, it throws you, you know, 100 million emotions all at one day, sort of thing, you know, that you didn't expect to sort of go through, you sort of think, oh yeah, you know, okay, we're going to get back walking, but you didn't expect it to sort of take your breath away the way it does and um, and you, you go home after having a, having a good go on it and just all these possibilities of what you're going to be able to do again is just keeps you coming back to you, so it's, it's really emotional but really fantastic at the same time. I found a lot of benefits from Rex, um, personally myself, with my bladder. Um, when you're sitting in a wheelchair, you, you, your body doesn't move around so much, um, so the water inside is not washing all your internal sides of the, of the bladder, so you're prone to getting infections, whereas now that I've had uh, time in the Rex, I don't seem to be getting those complications anymore, so that, that's been a real big bonus for myself. But there's other benefits that I'm, I'm gaining from it as well with my legs, because I'm six foot three tall, or six four, we can't really tell anymore, but um, having my legs stretched out all the time and my hips and all the muscles sort of being moved, the blood circulation coming back, um, you know, I, I race motorbikes, I'm quite prone to getting grazes and stuff like that, and they heal a lot quicker than they did before. Um, so just a lot of small things like that in my life have really changed since using Rex. I, I can see a lot of, uh, a lot of time use because um, I'm in a car club. You know, it'd be a, a big benefit for social aspect, just being able to talk to everyone at the same eye level and um, you know, walk around to a bar table or you know, um, stand up to someone when, when spoken to at a board meeting or stuff like that. So social life wise, yeah. Rex in a sense is a hobby um, and, and work life. Um, I, I spend a lot of time racing motorbikes um, and working on my own cars and stuff like that. So, um, when it, when it comes to time to like making stuff like that, um, we're always working at the bench obviously, but a lot of machinery is always bolted to the benches, um, like grinders and um, linishes and stuff like that, and when you know they're always at your head height, so if anything gets spit off, it goes straight to your face, so I can't wait to get back to using things with normal height where you know, you're not at risk the whole time. Um, so, and, and being able to reach, you know, like, um, it's annoying having all your tools having to sit on your bench, I like to hang them back off on the walls, you know, so give them some bit more working space, so you don't have to grab stuff off the walls and stuff like that um, for you, you store your tools, it would be really good to just, in general use, it would give me those freedom again. Even, even like going to see the girlfriend, um, she's got five stairs to get into a place, so it'd be nice to actually walk into her place one time instead of having to self bum myself up the stairs, you know, like one stair at a time and have her laughing her head off me, uh, especially when it's pouring down the rain. <laughs> My day-to-day -day life is is generally, you know, like revolves obviously around um, your essentials of getting up in the morning, showering, um, getting dressed, going to work, and then coming home, working on the bike, and then cooking yourself dinner and stuff like that. So it'd be nice, you know, like um, to get up in the morning and know that you don't have to get someone to grab you a towel off the top shelf. It was quite funny because everyone's trying to tell me to look in the mirror and sit, you know, like watch the movement and, and get familiar with it. And I just couldn't bloody look up. I spent the whole time looking at my legs moving. <laughs> so yeah, it was just, it blew me away. Just seeing, you know, like I told the doctors when I had my accident, I'm going to walk again. I didn't realise I was going to walk in a robot. But um, hey, you know, like this is just blowing me away. Being able to, to watch them one foot in front of the other, you know, it's just, yeah. Couldn't ask for a better feeling.